be the impact of, of our going out to do what we're going to do. So for example, if we're going to be relocating um, some humpback chub into Shinnemo Creek, and to do so, to keep them alive and, and thriving, they have to stay in their pails and that, so we're going to be flying them in, in a helicopter. So we went through this process of really assessing and weighing the trade-offs as to whether it was it will it be important for wilderness values in the future to bring the humpback chub in and utilize the helicopter for that time period, and um, and if that, if so, then we can move ahead. If not, we would need to find a more minimum tool to um, to carry out our action. And then management of recreation use. Um, we develop and implement visitor use management plans, and I think a good example is called our River Management Plan. Um, and we want to ensure that those uses and activities are consistent with the, why the park was established, and that we don't cause any unnecessary impacts. So to do that, we are doing some visitor experience monitoring program, and um, looking at the quality of the visitor experience. And